Okay, so how does this sound? A form of exercise with emotional and physical benefits. Sounds great, right? Yeah, sounds good. Mm. It is called Somatic Movement, and our next guest is here to tell us all about it and why we should try it. So please welcome back to the show, fitness expert, Nettie Kordek is here. Hi. Hi. Okay, before we get into it, talk to us, what does somatic movement mean and why is it beneficial? Okay. Great question. So somatic movement is all about using a deliberate like movements to facilitate internal responses. So physical and, and releasing emotional tension in the body. And so there's no right or wrong way to do it. It can be guided. It can be you on your own. It's all about using your innate senses to do what feels good to you and what sort of soothes your soul. So just moving in that way and not worrying about like what you look like physically. Yeah, we're watching well, this video. Yeah. She does not <laughs> no, care. No, she is she giving it. Like nobody's she watching. She's just moving. Wow. She's just moving and flowing. <laughs> yeah. So how does that kind of benefit us? Okay, so you know the expression, or maybe you don't better in than out. You know, sometimes okay. things bubble up to the surface and you have like this explosion. It's basically to stop that from happening. Okay. So Got when it. you're feeling a certain way, it could be sadness, it could be overwhelm. It's just doing certain movements so that you can release that tension uh -huh. from your body, both emotionally and physically. Okay. Love that. And you yeah. say you also like it because somatic movement is accessible to everybody. Very accessible. So it's accessible in the sense that you don't actually have to pay to go somewhere the, where they, they do have guided classes, but you don't have to do that. You can do it totally on your own. Mm -hmm. And it's accessible in the, ter in the sense that it's accessible to any age group and any mobility level because it can that. look different for for all so, all sorts of people. Okay, we're yeah. ready to do some. Let's do it. Let's yeah. go. Let's go do some somatic do movement. Okay. So, uh, Nadia, we are going to start with something that you call the ground shake. Yes, I call it the ground shake. So it looks like this. You're just going to have your feet about mat width apart, and you're just going to do just that. You're just shaking everything out, and you can release yeah, yeah, your head. Yeah, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah you, you can do it. You're going to release your head okay. like this, and think about releasing your shoulders and letting everything go. And the research talks about how this is great for folks maybe struggling with PTSD and just getting that sort of release and moving energy through your body. Mm, nice. Just I like love that. this. Yeah. Good. I feel like I've yeah. done this before. Nightclubs plenty of times. Like, <laughs> yeah, they were shaking. Like, shake. like, wow. And they were shaking. They were shaking. <laughs> funny. It's like, definitely, definitely. Right, okay, definitely. So the next one you're going to show us is the dynamic child pose. Yeah. So some of us are familiar with child pose from yoga. So yeah. you're going to come to maybe the middle of our mat and you're going to touch your big toes together and you're going to spread your knees wide apart and okay. sit your hips right back. Okay. So there's like cradling. And you're going to move forward. You can keep your head up. I like to keep my head up, but you don't have to. And you're just going to sort of sway side to side just like this. And what this is really great for is just sort of relieving any like pain. So it's great for pain relief. A lot of times we're carrying a lot of tension in our lower back and particularly in our hips. Some people carry a lot of tension in their hips and this is one of the great ways that we can release that tension. I'm feeling the stretch in my hips, like like right in there in my yes. glutes and yes. my Absolutely. hips. Does it Absolutely. matter if your bum is not touching your heel? That's a great question. For some people, mm -hmm. um, they're not able to get there as yet, maybe eventually, and that's fine. So whatever, feel, and that's the thing about somatic Movement, whatever feels really great and right for you. Yeah. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. You're supposed to do what feel innately feels good to you. I that's like good that. for the yeah. shoulders yeah. too. Absolutely, yeah. that's a great just point. Like yeah. Yes, it's a release of the Ooh. shoulders for sure. Okay, let's. Speaking of hips, let's focus on hip circles. Yes. Okay, one of my favorite ones. We're gonna come up to standing, mm -hmm. and this one is really great for releasing like stagnant energy in terms of like creativity, right? Oh, so okay. really getting into your like artistic kind of mind frame. So you're just gonna like circle your hips in one direction. Yes, you can do it sitting down Again, too. at the club. Uh, and then, yes. <laughs> and then whenever you want to, yeah. And you can go in the other direction, opposite direction. Yeah, and oh, this, this helps feels up. so good for mobility. Yeah. You are like great. Yeah. Yeah. She said yeah. to free up myself so it feels good. It feels yeah. good. Yeah. For a lot of things, good. yeah. But specifically, yeah, creativity and just releasing that. So it's definitely a release. But yeah, this is great. Yeah. yeah, you don't realize that you don't move this part of your body that much, even Absolutely. though you use it so much sitting down. Hundred yes. percent, especially so because we're si a lot of us are sitting all day long. Yeah, right. So just sort of freeing that up. And I love that you can just do this at your desk or wherever you 100%. are. Hundred percent. This can be done anywhere, anywhere okay. throughout the so, day. Yeah. So the next move is stomping on the ground. Okay. So this is my absolute favorite move. Okay. And just because a lot of times we see children do this, like they'll stomp, they'll punch. And They'll mall do all the time. All the time. In the mall, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, in the mall, at home, at school, anywhere. Yes. And it's great for them because it's just it's just a release. And they're just literally just going like this. 
And this is so we're doing for, a tantrum. Yeah, essentially. I feel like you have to put a, a face on. Yeah. You have to put a face on. Yeah. So and. this is off the research. The research says that when you're feeling powerlessness and you're feeling ah. frustration, this is great. And if you want to like punch your hands in the air, if you want to throw You know what, Nadia? You, you can make your kids do this on purpose. You have to and it's reverse like psychology. Energy. Yeah, but you it's reverse have, psychology. Yes. Yes. No, yes. 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 You absolutely could have talk with your children yes. about because oftentimes we dissuade them from doing things like this you absolutely could have a talk with your children about why this particular thing is actually good for them when they feel a buildup of energy yes. negative energy and then this is a way that they can positively release Get it, all it. Out. I absolutely. bet you teachers use this do the thing and make it um like permissible to do the thing you actually yeah. don't want them to absolutely. do and then they won't do it anymore yeah, don't be like you know what we don't need anymore <laughs> these are so fun I do feel I better love it. I do. right much better yeah yes. yes. thank you for showing us this so nice we're the most and you're all going to do these. So good. Okay, we're going to go from movement to money. Robin Thompson is back with Canada's economic forecast, how it's going to impact us, coming up in three minutes. Stop our way out. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.